Well, everybody, there's the Quanta Q3 charge accelerator with the pulse motor and the generator section running. And that's the LED on the left is the steady, well, it's pulsing, but that's the uh, pulse motor that runs the pulse motor. And the blinking LED on the right is the pulsed output of the generator wheel and I can change that right now I currently have two extra the two extra timing magnets on the timing wheel which is then causing the second relay to pulse the output of the generator disc into a second battery being charged the battery on the left is being pulsed by the pulse motor output the battery on the right of the two gray ones is the one that's connected to the generator output and the battery box here is one I restored on my little Bedini um, simplified schoolgirl motor this was dead a while back and that's powering the entire thing and I'm pulling a let me see get the current down here I'm pulling just under half an amp where's my current but I want to pull back a little bit and show you the I can reduce that in half by pushing on my relay a little bit. Watch this. Okay, my hand is on the relay, and the current drops, and the motor gets silent. Now I let go of the relay, and it jumps back up. So I've got to resecure the relay on there. It makes a gigantic difference having that not secured tightly. It makes all the difference in the world. I'm going to press the relay current drops considerably let go and it rises back up so anyway there's that now tonight I'm going to assemble the toroid section although I don't have the toroid yet it's in the mail and I still need the magnets but I'm going to assemble the toroid section so that I can get all this stuff out of here and clean up the house because poor Melanie has put up with all these batteries all this wire equipment over here, the entire dining room table is covered um, there's nothing left of the tiny house on wheels except for generator, electronics and assembly so she's been patient with me and quiet but I know patience is limited and I don't want to push my luck right Melanie? yeah, <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to finish this up and clean up the place and then all I'll have is the generator and charging the batteries wherever I put it. The rest of this stuff can be put away then. So, let me get to work. Hey everybody. It took me some time to sort this out. There's a lot of parts that go into a piece this size and a bit that goes on the shaft. So, now I'm ready to put on my rubber gloves here to protect the work and peel off the uh, coating on this and start putting it together. I just had to take some time and quiet and read all the, uh, well, study the diagram and figure out what parts go where and sort this out. So then, it's going to be a really nice looking thing. I suppose I'm going to need a fingernail for that. Alright, I'll get that pulled off and we'll be back here in a minute. And then we can start with assembly. Okay, I got the coating peeled off. Now, what's cool is actually the system is running while I'm working. So these are, make sure they're mirror images of ourselves, of each other. They're quite beautiful actually. There's a clear insert that goes on there, a spacer. Of course, I'll need to get my uh, wrenches back out. So there's seven of these bolts, which go through here with the spacers. I'm just going to get them all 
loosely in there and uh, everything pressed together and then I'll tighten them all at one, in one shot once I have this frame put together so I didn't take out enough washers very good So I'm going to put all seven of these screws in, and then I'll tighten them down, and then we'll be back in a little while here. Hey guys, last night I worked a little bit longer, but Melanie was watching some shows. I didn't want to really disturb her. So as I had said I was doing, I finished assembling this part here. Let me turn my viewfinder to me this clear part is done all I did was put the bolts through okay and set it aside just to see how it would look and then I took the shaft assembly uh, the rotor assembly which is simply a square piece of metal a square piece of bar steel well hollow steel and two hubs and some bolts that's all just that and I just put that together so you didn't really miss much um, it was more trying to figure out what goes where and how and then that went on the shaft and I'll show you a better angle in a while here so I've got those parts now in order to put this on I'm going to have to take off the front plate again to get those bolts in there and then I've just got the clips for the um, toroid and the other rectifier diode and then just the last little pieces I've got the, the, the screws for the hub and the last little pieces to put on the clips for the toroid so I'm gonna change the camera angle um, I'm gonna pause for a minute because coffee's gonna be boiling and whistling in a minute here and I'll change the camera angle and we'll peel off the, the protective paper here take off the front plate mount that on there properly and then uh, we put the rest of this all back together hey everybody we just took the facing off that and I'm going to put the front toroid assembly on Oops. Okay, that nut, plastic nut goes inside and inserts into the plastic frame here. At least I think it's supposed to. It's going to be a tight fit. Hmm. Well, not so easy done with gloves on, I think. Hmm. I'm not sure. It's not going in. Alright, I'm going to figure this out in a better light. I'm going to get my headlamp on and figure out why these aren't going in. These go on there, and then I will be able to put that piece on. Alright, it was a very tight fit. I had to press it in. So, I got it. It was a very, very tight fit. And you see some fingerprints from before, previous times when I've been handling this, so I'll wipe it off. All right, now I can put on the toroid assembly, and that bolt will go through and insert into that nut.
I have to say, this is quite awkward with rubber gloves. I was having trouble with that before because the rubber gloves were not... Uh, they were inserting into the hole on me. Is that going in? Okay, my nut is not in deep enough yet. So I've got some work to do here. All right, I'll fix that. Okay, here's my method for recessing those nuts deeply enough into the hole. Okay. Now I should be able to get enough grip through here into here. Very gently. It is a nylon nut. All right. Now I can put all this back on the face. dirt there on the outside. Must be something on the tablecloth I'm getting on here. Yeah, probably is dirt on the tablecloth. Make sure it's all wiped down beautifully. I won't bore you with that. I'm going to polish this up and then I'll put it back in place. Alright guys, I'm setting in the set screws. I've just slipped this on. There's just sliding in there. Alright. And I'm, I just screwed in the set screws. My camera was facing the ceiling, so forgive me for not recording all of that. And I'm just going to get the right driver for them and seat them in. And then I still haven't tightened these screws down because I wanted to get the whole assembly on first before tightening those screws. Oh, and there's a little bearing spacer. I have to find it. There's a tiny little piece. It's a spacer goes in there. Um, there it is. I don't know what its purpose, but there's this little plastic thing. A little plastic disc goes in there. Whatever its purpose, but I'm going to put it in there. Okay. And then I'll tighten these down properly with the key and I'll tighten these four bolts. But I didn't want to tighten those bolts until I got this assembly on there so I could get it on straight and without any trouble. So we'll be back in a few minutes here with that. <laughs> 